What's going on folks, ST here and today, yes, today we're going to be looking at a new RTA from AugVape and Mike Vapes. Yes, Mike Vapes has collaborated with AugVape to put out the Intake RTA. This one was sent to me for the purpose of this review, so let's go down, put a build in it. We're going to show you how to wick it just right, vape on it, and then we're going to come back up and talk about this one. So let's go down and take a look at it. All right, so here is the intake RTA from Aug Vape and Mike Vapes. This is the packaging that you will receive with your RTA. Do like the packaging on this. So what you're gonna get inside is the RTA itself, a spare glass, a 2.5 mil capacity glass, spare bag of O-rings, different colored, uh, this top grommet for the top fill cap, two Phillips head post screws, and a 510 drip tip adapter. You're also going to receive an extra 810 drip tip for this, and a tri tool. So, the intake RTA, it is a 24 millimeter RTA, single coil. It does have this top airflow setup on it. The top fill on this one alone, let me start off, is awesome. It's just like a half turn and it pops off. And there's that top grommet right there. Keep it from leaking. You have these nice size holes here for your top fill. You can also see your airflow control. It does have a stopper on here and you can almost see right in there where it's set up to stop. Now this ring does come off. So if you want to get behind that and clean that up, real nice there. So let's look. Also, it does come with a bubble glass pre-installed. The bubble glass does hold 4.2 mils of juice. You can also see the bottom there. Mike Vapes, Aug Vape. And look at that low serial number, number 10. One of the first ones to come off the press there. So let's look at this unique airflow system on here. So as you can see, you have these two tubes that are sitting here where your air is gonna go through and hit this coil right there in the middle. And we are about to put a build on this. You can see it does have the Phillips head post screws on it. Real easy to build on. Nice design there. One other cool thing, let me show you. So, when you're putting this back together, this inside spins. It almost, it, it kind of, it just feels like it's floating in there. Very easy. So you would might think, well, is that going to line up perfectly? I mean, it hits it just like that. So real nice. I like how that's set up on that. Let's break this down. So your bubble glass comes off there. Again, I showed you how easy that, it breaks down real easy. Do we have the intake, little logoing right there on there. This was one thing I didn't know if I was gonna like or not, these low profile drip tips. And let me see how well I can get that off. You can see that it goes pretty deep into there but it does have that low profile look to it. You do have a O-ring here on the inside where your drip tip goes. And again, these are 810 drip tips, so you can put whatever you want on there. I have been enjoying the one that comes with this though. All right, well, let's get down to the important stuff. Let's get down to putting a build on here. All right, so I got my coil started on here. Uh, my eyes are a little bad, so I have to look closer at things. Hard to do that on camera for me, but 
All you want to do is make sure you put one of your leads in on this side and right here on this side and these little channels and then just tighten down on it. I like to keep my coil right there at that height right above that airflow at the bottom. It's real close to it so I feel I'm getting the best flavor off of it in that position. But all you want to do is, is just tighten these down. Well, they won't go anymore. And then just clip your sides there. Make sure you get as close as you can on there. You don't want anything sticking out. And even at that right there, I'm going to have to clip those down a little bit more. And the next thing is we're going to wick this. All right, so I got it wicked up. And you're probably going, well, wow, those look too short. But actually, that's right about where you want it at. So that has been cut. And I'm going to show you this. So... This is about where you want your wicking to be. And let me get that little stray piece out of there. So as you can see on the side there, you don't want your wick touching this right here, this wall. Actually, that's down a little bit too far. I'm gonna have to cut and mess with that a little bit more. But this is where you wanna be at. You don't want your wick coming all the way down into here. You really don't wanna be able to see it at all. And like I said, I need to cut a little of that off right there. So that just shows you that you just need just a little bit you know typically on rtas most of them you would just take it all the way down into here but that's not going to be the case i'll need to even trim on this one a little bit more but that gives you an idea of where you want your wicking on this one for it to perform the best like i said you don't want any wick in here right so All right, so this thing is ready to go. We just got to put some juice on that wick right there. Like I said, you don't want any of your wicking down here in this channel below. So let's put this back together, go back up top and vape on this. All right, and we are back and you know what time it is. Look at the vapor production on that, on a single coil RTA. And flavor, whew, flavor is unreal on this one right here. So let's go ahead and jump into pros and cons. I don't have any cons on it, folks. The only con that after having it that I thought I might have was gonna be the low profile drip tip. And if y'all know me, you know I'm not a fan of them. I don't use them. So, after putting a build on this, running it, and even taking this drip tip off and running ones that I preferably use on my other atomizers, I went back to the one that came with it. It's nice. I like it. This atomizer is not getting hot like typically you'd say an RDA would with a low profile drip tip. You're just not running that much wattage to it. So, And again, without running that much wattage, you're getting better battery life out of your device. So it's a win-win on it. And like I said, airflow on this one is a little restricted, uh, a little more restricted than what I typically use. But the airflow that is on it is good. And I like the way that he designed those airflow tubes. Everything just works great together. Again, awesome vape on it. So if you wanted to get your hands on one of these, well, Vapor DNA has them right now for $29.99. They have them in all four colors, the blue, the black, gunmetal, and stainless steel. So go over there and check them out. 
I think possibly Mike might put these on his site from time to time, so you can check in over there at hitthatjuice.com. Uh, I believe another place that has them right now is Brad's Vapor. I haven't checked his price yet, but I know if you use coupon code ST10, that'll give you 10% off. So there are some places to go check out and see. Uh, again, I have really enjoyed this one. Mike, you did an awesome job again with a different company. I mean, Mike is, you know, he's pretty much, he's doing a great job with all these companies. And quick little note. I know a lot of us say this, but I'm gonna say it myself. Yes, me and Mike are friends. I'm friends with a lot of people that put out a lot of product. I'm not going to not review their stuff uh, just because we're good friends. It just don't work like that. I'm gonna give you my honest review, and if I found something messed up with this, I'm gonna tell you. It's just the way it is. But. If you don't believe me, go check out other people's videos. I think you're gonna hear the same thing. So again, Mike, awesome job. Augvate, awesome job. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get out of here because I feel like I've been just going forever on this one. But thank you for watching. If you like it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that red subscribe button. Thank you again, and I'm getting out of here. Y'all have a good one.